In a world where video gaming and online social communities in what we call the metaverse is expanding and changing every day, people may not necessarily have the same identity online as they do in the physical world. Having a digital identity is something that people will have to learn about and adapt to. And one of the things that is important about digital identity is the freedom of, for people to choose how much they want to share with people about their identity and whether they want to prove certain things without having to expose or give away their entire identity, particularly their physical identity in the physical world. Web3 is all about um, actually letting individuals and users control their own data. And we get there by um, providing tools to programmers to create those experiences. Providing something like a zero knowledge proof layer that the MENA protocol can provide is just an incontestable proof that something is true and then it can be independently verified. In the virtual world of kind of video games, sometimes you would maybe want to prove that you are part of a certain community or faction and you could use zero knowledge technology to generate proofs of certain actions that you've taken in games or that you've been with a certain group or, or sometimes they're called guilds, alliances in video games. Gaming is becoming more and more social. So it's more and more about connecting with other people online and, and having a shared experience in the virtual world rather than just here's some objectives, here's some rewards for doing those objectives. So it's going to become more and more important to consider the idea of what identity means. It's a great time to find out if you want to learn more about zero knowledge technology, building ZK apps and using the MENA blockchain. There's a number of programs available to developers who may be interested in finding out about ZK apps and maybe building something that could be the next big thing in providing privacy to people, whether it comes to digital identity in online worlds or any of the other numerable use cases that ZK technology can be applied to.